Hey, I think we're live. I think we're live. I'll be right back. Okay, <laughs> had to share uh, this link on N5D and Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit. If you know anybody or any groups that you'd like to share it with, please do so. Namaste, everyone. My name is Greg Prescott. I'm from N5D.com and Body, Mind, Soul, Spirit.com. And I want to welcome, welcome you all to tonight's N5D Facebook Live. And we're going to be covering an article written by Rosie Neal that's entitled 15 energetic things you may experience as your body is being upgraded. So it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. I want to say hi to everyone that's here. Here's Wendy, and Maureen, Elaine, Caddy, Donna. <laughs> uh, thank you, Donna. Andrea, uh, Joy, Alfred, Mary, Suzette. I could go on and on. And thank you for the little hearts and stuff. Sorry about that one little frowny face that somebody, one of my enemies. <laughs> Always get one of my enemies that stalks me here. <laughs> it's probably the, the same idiots that uh, go to YouTube. You know, when you upload a video to YouTube and it might be like an hour long, and as soon as it's uploaded, you get like three or four thumbs down. Probably the same idiots. <laughs> That's okay. Sending everybody love, including the idiots that thumb me down and give me the frowny faces. Sending you all love. So, just starting out while people are filing in here, excuse me. Okay, um, just want to remind you guys uh, about the N5D Patreon account. I'm raffling off this E-Force Titanium pendant uh, on there. Uh, it's valued at $175, uh, and to anyone who makes a donation on the N5D Patreon page, as minimal as $1.11, you're answered. And for everyone who has already um, donated to the N5D Patreon page, you're already answered. So I'll be doing a live drawing on it for this on July 7th, 2018. So look forward to that. Someone's going to be getting a, a really beautiful piece of jewelry. Okay. So also want to say if you have any cool articles like this article that I'm, I'm doing right now, the 15 energetic things you may experience as your body is being upgraded. If you write articles um, and you have something cool like that, a cool topic like that, send them. Send them to my article at n5d.com. So I'm always looking for new authors and uh, new people to showcase to the world. Excuse me. Just had to mute my other computer. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a little personal issue I have with lovehasone.org. Here's your message, lovehasone.org. You're on the clock, okay? I gave them 48 hours to respond to an email I had sent them uh, requesting that they take down all in 5D articles. I want nothing to do with lovehasone.org. Period. <laughs> and I'm not going to get into the details. And it gets pretty deep because uh, one of their uh, people that followed them that left the, the cult of, that they are uh, told me a lot of stuff of what goes on there. And uh, I'm not going to say anything right now about that. But if they don't pull all of my articles within 48 hours after giving them that notice, I'll be filing DMCA violations against all 618 articles that they leached from N5D.com. And what initially led to this, though, is uh, they infiltrated the N5D MeWe chat, 
and they brought a lot of negative energy in there and they were harassing a lot of the people that were in there that were just good people but they were sucking like energy vampires they were sucking off of their energy and instigating things so you know i ended up going to their youtube channel and uh this is the i banned her from the n5d account this is the mother of all creation uh, she's one of the people I banned, and uh, I was looking at some of their videos, and this one's called "This One's Called 323, The Suffering Will End Now. And just a little excerpt from it, uh, <laughs> Mother of All Creation says, Everyone on this planet, 7.8 billion, are going to have to ask for forgiveness directly from me and Father of Father in Being to enter heaven. Really? <laughs> Got to laugh at that one. And then, you know, here's another one from, this one's entitled, the, the title of the video is Love Has One Live Galactic Announcements, The Real Deal, It's Over. Let's see, there it is. And Tracy Lord on the live chat said, your profits are false. Female energy is being repressed. And then mother of all creation. <laughs> What a joke. She said, Tracy, go away and recycle. You're a bitch. Lovely, huh? And then this was kind of interesting. I was on this video, Love Has One Announcements Unity Meeting 32418, Unified Field is Going Down, where somebody made a comment and was taken out of context. It says, you don't know shit, but as it turned out, this little boy right here, stands up in the video and goes, no, you don't know shit. Really? <laughs> Love has won, really? And lastly, um, that's this is from the same video where they were talking about how father of all creation uh, had a e super ego issue and went ballistic on everyone. They eventually had to taser him. And uh, so Morgan Hunter, is commenting about that right here and he said he waited until she fell asleep then proceeded to say he was actually god and created chaos to steal energy regardless of already stealing energy from mother and that's exactly what they were doing in the n5d me we chat they were draining people's energy starting conflicts and i will not tolerate it this is from their website that's how many pages of articles that they have from n5d 69 pages, over 600 articles that they basically leached trying to bring followers of N5D to their website, and I don't stand for that. I, I don't stand for what they stand for. I don't stand for that negative archontic energy. And if they're mistaking me, if they're mistaking my easygoingness as a weakness, they're wrong. So, now you know. And it gets a lot deeper, but I'm not going to go into that part. Uh, we'll see what they do with the DC, uh, DMCA, and uh, we'll take it from there. Anyway, so without further ado, oh, there's there's Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Uh, and Peggy Sue, Joe, um, Jennifer, another one of our writers, Josette LeBlanc, Tom Diaz. Awesome. Yay all you beautiful people here I love you guys so let's get let's get to uh, Rosie's article but first she posted this on her Facebook page and it wasn't part of the article but I want to read it to you guys because there was a huge energy shift that went on recently and she posted this on uh, May 20 or I'm sorry April 21st and she said I was literally knocked off my feet yesterday as the energy came in especially last night the most difficult began at 11 p.m. Eastern ringing in the ears so loud like never before the pitch was out of the world it felt like my brain was being completely scrambled and vertical set in i was sure my head was going to explode severe body pains on every level stomach blown up and felt like rolling lava going right through i felt the vibration coming in and thought it came from an old steam locomotive <laughs> as it was that intense those that are extremely sensitive will be feeling it. It is evolution taking place, and it can be painful 
until it is completely and fully integrated. Has anyone else felt the wave that came through yesterday? Best thing is to drink lots of fluid and fast and deep rest. Not drink them fast, but fast. <laughs> Don't eat. <laughs> As we continued integration of these frequencies, it will create a hundredth monkey effect and will happen globally. So what about you guys? I think it was, uh, she was saying it was like the 19th, 20th, 21st, or the 20th, 21st, 22nd, somewhere around then. What were you guys feeling then? Were you feeling some pretty intense energies like Rosie? You know, I love this water. <laughs> Best water on the planet. And no, I am not a sponsor of them. I should be, but I'm not. Alkalife, 10 pH water. Highest pH you can find in water. What I do with this water, too. Actually, I use the Levi. It's a 9.0 pH. But what I do with that water is I uh, run ozone through it. So I have ozone alkaline water and then make ice cubes out of it. So I have ozone alkaline ice cubes. It's pretty cool. Okay, so um, let's move on. Okay, number one, the bifurcation triggering emotions. And Rosie said there's a bifurcation taking place and a separation of densities. This is going to bring a lot of things to the surface and they will create a lot of triggers that will come up to trigger you into old judgments. And that's part of why I told you guys about this whole love has one organization thing. I was told by my guides, I had the same issue back on n5d.com, um, gosh, three, four years ago. And this group infiltrated it and did the same kind of crap that love has one is doing. My guides told me it was the same group. I can't specifically prove it, but I, I trust my guides. They've never been wrong. So this stuff is coming back up, and I'm just handling it. I'm not going to let their negative energy <laughs> leech on to me. And what they see in 5D, the in 5D MeWe group page is as a host, and in 5D as a host. No, not going to happen. So this is an opportunity, though, what Rosie is saying, to face these Things, these triggers that are coming up in your life to learn from them and to move forward from them. And that's what many of us are doing right now. And that leads us to number two, old issues arising. Some, some of the things you may have dealt with in the past will be re-triggered and they're coming up for release. So this is an opportunity for people to finally clear all once and for all, all the crap that's coming up. So look at it as something positive. It's going to be easy. You know, some of these things might you know, try to get you down, but don't fall for it. Stay within your light, ground. Man, I've been telling you guys that for, for gosh, over a year, those five things. Grounding is so important, though. Of course, love, you know, is, is number one, but grounding is right up there. Um, what you'll see is that most of these people in the spiritual genre that are losing it, no names mentioned, <laughs> You know who I'm talking about, though. I guarantee they're not grounded. I guarantee it. And it's so important to get out there and ground. Um, even today, I worked so long. I, I got up early, worked all day, but I, I forced myself to go to the beach. And I was only there for maybe an hour, but I did my walk of gratitude and uh, got my grounding in. And I feel wonderful now. So get out there and ground. Number three, the feeling, feeling the need to move. Are some of you guys in a place right now where you're like, man, I wish I was at the beach or, you know, maybe the mountains or anywhere else than other than where you are. <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of people out there that feel like that. Uh, Rosie is saying uh, there will be many that will move geographically from one location to another simply to ground in a frequency to the planet that is needed and the location that they're being moved to. I, like everyone else, am going through exactly my own stuff and work as well. So you know, here I am, I'm, I'm in Florida, Siesta Key. I absolutely love it here. I'm not moving anywhere, but I can't blame it. Blame any of you guys if you ended up moving here. <laughs> it really is paradise. I love it here. 99.9% uh, quartz crystal sand is just, it just soaks you right up. It's like a wonderful energy exchange between you and the sand. 
Bakai to uh, Annette, and Linda. And Linda says, thank you for sharing this love as one cites ne negative behavior. You're welcome. Uh, hey, I'm looking out for you guys. Uh, and, and the people that write for N5D.com, I don't want them being represented on a website that doesn't represent what N5D stands for. So thank you for listening to me. Uh, gosh, okay, Thomas Diaz. I woke up today with an intense pressure, headache, forehead, and crown and brain scramble. I was laying out resting today and also got clear images of people I've never seen. That's really cool. So it sounds like um, your third eye is uh, opening up. Very, very cool. Uh, hi to everyone that jo uh, joined. Rosie said, yes, it was intense. Thank you, Greg. You're very welcome, my dear. Rosie and I go way, 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 way back. <laughs> Angela Scullin. Oh, Greg, you were triggered by love has not won. <laughs> That's funny. No, I wasn't. I'm taking the high road on this one. And uh, we'll let the DC, DMCA take care of everything. It's not my, my issue anymore. So moving on. Number four, bringing in the crystalline conscious, consciousness template. And Rosie goes on to say, there's an overwriting of templates from the past as we are being updated and upgraded. We're also receiving new template codes, which are throwing us off balance. We are taking on a crystalline consciousness and merging with the higher self. We are dissolving beliefs that no longer serve us or will be needed anymore as as we move forward and begin to open up and receive feelings of bliss and divine love on many levels. So that's really exciting. You know, the, the bringing in of the crystalline consciousness template. So you know, that's something to look forward to. And I'm sure this is something that's happening every day. You know, as we, we there's so many different energies that are coming in from so many different directions. You know, the galactic center, platonic energy, the, the, you know, um, solar flares, uh, geomagnetic energy, all sorts of energy that's going on right now. So <sighs> absorb, transmute, try to <laughs> stay centered and grounded. Okay. Okay. Get some more water. <clears throat> okay. So moving on. Number five proverbial heaven and hell. And we're seeing this right now. You know, if you look at like the QAnon thing that's going on, the draining of the swamp, um, that's that's what's happening. And, uh, you know, it's, it's the battle of light versus dark right now, the good versus evil. It's kind of like what I'm going through with this whole MeWe situation. But uh, it, what Rosie's saying is some will be dealing with chaos as others with bliss. I suggest you try to stay in a place of observation from a point of sacred neutral and don't judge. Everybody is going through this differently and it is affecting everybody. As I've always said, we're living on the edge of change and it's happening in a way we don't understand because it's never happened like this before. And that's the truth. You know, what we're experiencing right now, <laughs> you know, the, the building of the new earth, the, what leads up to the event when the event actually happens. This has never been experienced anywhere, and uh, it's, it's really exciting to be part of this, to be witness of it, and to have all of us aboard together, working together, and making this happen. So be conscious of where you're putting your thoughts and intentions, because thoughts and intentions are becoming quicker and manifesting quicker and quicker and quicker. So <laughs> make sure you're putting your thoughts and intentions on beautiful creations. Number six. Some may exit early. Let me just check the chat right here. Angela says, face the triggers. Yes, I agreed I'd help anyone, but never again let anyone walk over me or push me aside. I totally agree with that. It's okay to be a galactic warrior. <laughs> you know, if you're fighting in the name of love, it's okay. Monica is saying, I've had so many things come up. I've had to let go. Wow, it feels so good. Good for you. Congratulations, Monica. I'm glad you're getting that release out. So, okay, number six, some people may exit early. There will be many that will not be able to receive the energy and they will leave the planet. But this is what was agreed to before they incarnated on a higher soul level. They, they that chose this path to leave will continue their work 
on the other side of the veil. And we probably already know people in our lives that have exited early, earlier than they should have. Uh, my sister Lola was one, she exited in 2011. But yeah, she's part of my posse now on the other side of the veil. And uh, she's visited me many times in my dreams. She's young, she's beautiful, she looks like she's 23 or so. She's completely healthy, so you know, know, know that your loved ones that aren't here are happy and healthy, and they're helping us to expedite this event that's going to happen, okay? Uh, Linda Zimmerman, Zimmerman says, yes, I'm moving to Sarasota, Florida. Florida. I'll be reaching out to you when I get there. I bet you there's a lot of people that are gonna be moving here. This is such a wonderful place. It's one of the 22 light cities in the world. If you do the numerology of Florida, you get, I think, 33, and then Sarasota is 22. Siesta Key is 11, no, it's the other way around. Florida is 11, Sarasota is 22, and Siesta Key is 33. <laughs> so you have this perfect numerology of this area that's going on. Uh, Parminder Chada is asking, how do I ground? I go to the beach. <laughs> I go to the beach often. And when I'm there, I do my walk of gratitude and I do a love bubble meditation. You can find them both here on n5d.com. And basically, I'll just go through the what I say. It's real quick anyway. I encourage you guys to use what I'm I'm saying, change it around, make it your own. But I, I basically say, dear creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and mother earth. This is where I use Ho'oponopono. I'm sorry if I don't say this as often as I should. Please forgive me. Thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support, protection, and abundance in everything that's good in life, as I promise to listen with open eyes, ears, mind, and heart. I ask that you help me turn on all the codons in my DNA, as well as, as, well as activate all past, current, and future strands of DNA so I can heal myself and others in humanity's best interests. And more than anything, I love you all so very much. And then I ask my posse, <laughs> Creator Source Universe, right down the line, to join me in a love bubble meditation. And I say, uh, I ask them to take their loving, healing energy from their heart center and expand it out as far as they can throughout the planet, galaxy, universe, multiverse, and omniverse. And then I always end it with, with, we're all family. Because when you look at everybody as family, if you're walking on the beach and you see an old man there and you might look grumpy, but you think, hey, wait, that's Uncle Ted. He's always that way, and you kind of chuckle. If you think of everybody on the beach as family, it changes the whole energy vibration. So that's why I always say, we're all family. And I look at everybody when they're walking by me. They could be the grumpiest people, or they could be smiling. They're all family, and it's true. We are all family. We are all one. So I'll put a link in here somewhere when I get done with the video and um, to the Walk of Gratitude and the Love Bottle love bubble meditation so you guys like i said feel free to change it into whatever you want make it your own personal thing if you notice i didn't put jesus in there but if you want to put jesus in there i didn't use the word god if you want to use god whatever you want to do make it yours i'm okay with that just do it because you're doing it in the best interests of humanity and with love so and i thank you if you are doing it <clears throat> okay Let's see, where are we? Oh, miscommunication, number seven, miscommunication and communication. As Sherry Pickard saying, time is moving fast, it sure is. Okay, miscommunication and communication. There will be much miscommunication coming to surface. Miscommunication is becoming more intensified Oh, look at all these little hearts over here. I'm so easily distracted. Thank you. So uh, this communication is becoming more intensified. I want you to be aware that it can also affect you. It can affect your ability to communicate even with yourself and your internal dialogue with your higher self. There's a subtle process going on in how you are relating to yourself. There is communication that comes from your light body and your inner self to your conscious self and ego. The filtering of all messages and communications is somewhat clouded for most people during this time as the shift is taking place. And once again, now we're, you know, this is another reason to get out there and ground 
you know, to clear your mind. I mentioned on the last video, you know, I used to have ADHD, but I found once I cleared my mind, started meditating, the ADHD went away. So it's a matter of just eliminating a lot of clutter in your mind and uh, getting out there and actually ground, feel that Mother Earth, feel that connection to her. And as was just mentioned in the chat, time, as you know, as you know it, is changing. This is number nine. So uh, Rosie goes on to say, I will go even as far to say that linear time as you know it, which is a social agreement, is on the edge of change. Linear time is there to slow things down so things don't manifest and happen so quickly. It is known as past, present, and future, but time is moving and picking up for many very, very quickly. And we just, like I said, we just had a, a comment and a chat about that. Sherry's saying she's got cold chills. <laughs> Maybe that's a confirmation of uh, something positive. You know how Sammy Hagar gets goosebumps whenever he hears the truth. <laughs> so, Tamara Sue says, we are the event. I, we're, we are. We are the ones that are triggering it. We're going to ultimately be the ones that cause that white light to flood the planet, in my opinion. Where are we? Okay. Okay, number 10. Light may emit from your pores. Now, if you saw the article, you saw the light emitting from Rosie's pores. I sent her pictures also a few months back of the same thing happening to me. Um, it's, it's really fascinating. Go outside and take a picture of your hand or something in the sun. You're going to see light coming out of it. It's mesmerizing. <laughs> but yeah, uh, try it. Go out there and uh, let us know. Uh, come back and make a post on this article when I upload it to N5D. Look, show us your pictures. Show us your light. <laughs> so she goes on to say, we are, in fact, moving from silicone to crystalline on a cellular structure. Many of you will be able to take pictures and see it on your skin, which Rosie and I both did. The three pictures that Rosie shown on that on the website of the were showed the crystalline being formed, the crystalline form being activated. The first and second pictures are from some months ago, as I was motivated to take pictures by my friend Greg Prescott, and the third picture is from a few weeks ago, and you can see the the changes that have taken place with the light as it becomes integrated and densified. So yeah, go back to that. I, I don't have the picture here. I just uploaded the uh, the text, but go back and check out the article and I'll put the article link right in here <laughs> as well. And I'll include it um, in the YouTube version below. And hi to everyone that's watching on YouTube as I'll be uploading this a little bit later. This one's my favorite one. DNA upgrades. Man, I have been working so hard on upgrading my DNA. Even the pictures that were taken some months ago have completely changed to a brand new level of light integration. The mitochondria is changing in form. The mitochondrial houses the RNA and DNA, and for some of it, and for some, it is becoming completely unrecognizable. And Rosie was mentioning that about hers. You know, people are going to the um, doctors and they're doing blood tests and stuff and they're seeing blood that they haven't seen before <laughs> it's mutating it's changing right now we're in the process of it right now it's happening right now believe it number 12 fatigue let's take a look at some of the comments aurora says oh my god i'm glad i tuned in because i have been wondering about ascension symptoms whereabouts in florida are you i'm in siesta key uh, the number one beach in the united states number five in the world and Joanna is saying she's preparing to move west, and she's following her guidance. Go west, young lady. <laughs> Unless you mean the west coast of Florida. I don't know. It's probably the west coast, period. So number 12, fatigue. Most in the more advanced stage, the stages will need a great deal of rest. It will be one of the greatest things you can do for yourself. How many of you out there have been taking like long ass naps or going to bed much earlier than what you've been going to bed earlier? You know, then, you know, for myself, I, 
a year ago, I'd be up until like 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning working. But lately, I find myself just kind of like <laughs> going to sleep by 9.30. And then getting a full night's sleep, of course, waking up every hour and a half or so all throughout the night. And then still needing a nap sometime in the afternoon. Like yesterday, gosh, if it wasn't for this <laughs> live video, I probably would have taken one earlier. But, but yesterday, I think I took like a three or four hour nap yesterday afternoon after getting a long night's sleep. So are you guys experiencing that fatigue, being tired, naps? <laughs> so. okay. uh, number 13, <laughs> this is me too, weight gain. And even though I've lost 10 pounds um, in the past, I don't know, month and a half or so, I was at a weight that I have never been before in my life. I was up to 218, now I'm down to 208. So yeah, I'm 5'11", so I'm still, I still have more weight to go. But yeah, Rosa goes on to say, many will be dealing with weight gain to make space to hold more light. So don't feel bad if you're putting weight on, which is needed to create the crystalline form. So are you guys experiencing weight gain? Like I said, I, I have, um, gosh, I, I want to get down to 189. I still have 19 pounds to go. <laughs> Hopefully you'll see it in my, in my face in the upcoming videos. <laughs> Number 14, difficulty forming sentences. There will be some that will have a difficult time with sentence structure and others that will have a difficult time with clarity of thought. There's nothing in our past which will support all the changes that are happening to us in this ever present moment of now. So I think what Rosie's trying to say there is there is a lot of things that are going on. We're being overwhelmed with everything that's going on. There's a lot of stimulus, stimuli that's going on all around us and we're being flooded. So sometimes that can kind of like change our thought patterns or over load our brains to the point of where we have a hard time saying what we need to say. So I can understand that happening. I'm loving all your chat that's going on there. And make sure that you tell us all where you're from um, so you guys can create a soul family uh, and find other like-minded people in your area. And number 15. Moving in and out of dimensions. How exciting is that? There are many that are vacillating back between the third dimension and the fifth dimension and are having difficulties keeping a foot in both worlds. I've been having those kind of dreams lately where if I'm in the I'm in 5D or beyond. I'm not sure where, but but it's it's not in this dimension anymore. I've been having those like really fun dreams like that. I don't know about you guys, but are you guys going in and out of dimensions? For me, it's not on the physical as much as it would be in, in the astral, which I think is more real than the physical anyway. So Corey's saying, I'm wiped out, exclamation marks, three of them. And Gerald Ann says, I'm wanting to sleep so much more than usual. Also wanting naps. Heck yeah. Julie says yes to lots of naps. 12 hours of night sleep for Annette. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so these are exciting times that we're in right now. And I want to thank Rosie Neal for writing that article. It was brilliant. It was beautiful. And if there's an article, like I said, if you have an article, something along these lines that you'd like to share with uh, us at N5D, send your article to my article at n5d.com and I'll check it out and make sure you use spell check and grammar check and all that stuff. <laughs> that would help me out a lot. <laughs> and I just want to say thank you and uh, give a huge shout out of gratitude to all those who have uh, supported me on Patreon. Even if it's a dollar eleven or whatever, it means a lot to me because ultimately my goal is to get rid of all the corporate advertising on M5D and make the website just like the best website you could ever possibly be um, involved with. You know, that's, 
while we're still here in the physical. <laughs> of course, once we graduate, there I'll have an, another website. It'll be in 7D and it'll be on a holographic pad and <laughs> we'll, we'll be figuring out what we have to do to get to the next bump up in spiritual progression. So like I said, for like a minimal $1.11 donation, you can be entered in for the contest to win this uh, titanium pendant. I actually paid 175 for that, and I don't think I've made that much in donations, but that's what that's the way I am. I just give stuff away anyway. That's what we do as light workers. So I guess I'm gonna leave it off at that. Uh, I just wanna thank you all so very much for joining me once again on this Facebook in 5D Live. And I just wanna send everybody tons and tons of infinite love and gratitude. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. And thank you again, Rosie.